I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. I got pills, I got lean, nigga. How you smoke weed, nigga? Well, we got it by the bees, nigga. This shit a breeze, nigga. I can do this shit with ease, nigga. Like, fuck you, mean, nigga. We got scuffs, we got beans, nigga. Oh, that's your team, nigga. Boy, I ought to mush you in the face. You looking like you want to fight. Bitch, you should have fought the case. Bitch, boy. Back with another one. You already know who I am. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Um, I wanted to come give y'all my thoughts. Now that Big K versus Adi Boom has released on YouTube, and there are a lot of different variables that I'm going to talk about when it comes to this battle. Let's talk about, I want to go before, middle, after. Like we can go, we can go, uh, there's three parts. As I break down every round that I've sketched out, there's nothing slicker than the tools in the rusty shed house. You niggas came here playing. They're going to leave here giving head counts. They ain't even book you niggas rooms. I told them Harlem hospitals giving beds out. And it's quarantine, so I'm not gonna rush through this. You know what I'm saying? I, I hope that you got time, like, 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 ro roll with me. You know what I'm saying? Before you stick a fork in me, you, you know the turn. Come, come on, take this, take, take this walk with me. Um, Adi Boone comes home. Everybody knew, you know, he came home from doing five year bid for robbery. Uh, and him returning was one of those things that you know a lot of people were anticipating. He's got, you know, he has a fan base. And he's really good peoples with ARP. You know, ARP was holding him down. I mentioned in a previous blog that I did that when I went to one of um, RBE's events, it was the one where um, Ill Will battled Daylight. That was a fire battle too. And JC battled Ill Mac. That was a <laughs> fire card. Um, he had it to where, in order to get in for like media and all of that, you just had to drop a donation for Boom. So he was holding down Boom for a very long time. Now, Adi Boom comes out. He goes on his little run, you know what I'm saying, as far as with the medias and as far as like showing up in different battle events. And you know, he he was supposed to have a couple battles before the big K. I don't really want to speculate, it's just things that I've heard, so I don't want to just put those those names out there. But he got Big K, and there were folks who felt like he really didn't even deserve a Big K. I mean, honestly, because what Big K has been doing as far as him battling different folks and moving through other leagues and the talent that he's been battling, it was like, you know, Adi Boom really had not earned that. But Regardless of the fact, he did get the battle. So, up until even the um, the the joint where they did like the day of, Adi Boom has like this weird energy in the face off. He's like barking and all this. And I, I don't know, it was just weird. I, something was just weird about the whole thing. So he was barking, and I'm gonna get you, rah, 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 and all this other shit, right? So, the battle actually happens, and Big K wants to rap first. I'm rapping first. I'm gonna rap first. You know, he he literally ended a five year wait in three minutes. Like his first three minutes of the battle. Um I did not take a bunch of notes for this battle because I don't really know if it's it's not even a battle that's gonna be worth breaking down like that because with what happens in this battle, it was kinda like something I've never seen before. I mean we've seen I know, so let's do this. So during the battle, Big K raps first. He brings out the paperwork of ID Boom. Records in this nation, all public information. You can find this on westlaw.com and justia.com. Do dirty. Type in David Green, 2011, Millville, New Jersey. Now for those in attendance, as I proceed to ra For those in the listen, hold on. Um, that claims that he made a statement that one of his co-defendants fired the gun inside the house. You can watch the battle. You see everything that Big K said. The paperwork is online. You can look it up. Justia.com. He gave the website. He did everything that you needed to do to have a perfectly executed angle to put Adi Boom in an adverse situation because battle rap is all about, you know, being hard and guns and, you know what I'm saying, being real and street. And then you have Big K bringing out an angle like this. And he's like, yo, I'm sick of y'all talking like y'all so tough. And so he brings out this angle, and Big K, all three of his rounds is basically about being a snitch. Snitch boy, it smells like snitch in here. He's a snitch. And I know a lot of people feel like, oh, um, Big K was wrong for bringing it out. 
battle rap is about angles. People are going to use the angles that they get against you. If they could find something that can neutralize your whole comeback in the first minute or two of the battle, are you crazy? Like, he's going to use that. And he went right to it and used it for all three rounds. Now, I, um, I did boom. I did watch the battle again. I seen it when it originally came out, but I watched it again today to see what Adi Boom had. And honestly, his material was just okay. I mean, even I'm not even, I'm not looking past the, the the paperwork. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that. But when I look at the actual content of the material, his material was just okay. And people had the nerve to say that I don't even know if it's nerve. I mean, people are saying that he wrote for Surf. I can't tell how because I don't. I didn't hear nothing that Adi Boom spit that was Surf was remotely close to anything that Surf would would do. Like, and no, I, I I just don't see it. And I think John John said something about that. I tweeted about that earlier, and other people have too. And um, even Forty Cal has said something interesting the other day uh, on Twitter. He said something to the term. He was telling a story. And think about 40 Cal. Like, this nigga, he's been really, like, active on Twitter. If you're not following 40 Cal, follow 40 Cal. So he starts telling a story. And he says, Adi Boom, sitting next to me, we start talking. Like, in my head, he seemed cool. Down to earth, he even told me that he wrote for Surf. I was like, word, keep going. So for some reason or another, Adi Boom was running with this he wrote for Surf thing. And Big K even brought mention that. He said the only thing you wrote for Surf was his statement. Like, he was... He went kind of crazy. So, from what I heard, from what I heard, was somebody hit Big K up with that paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was out there. I don't. I think when you like, they went out there. They got it from whoever co-defended or et cetera, et cetera, and they sent him the paperwork. And I, from what I was told, is that they were going to hit up every single opponent that um, Adi Boom had until somebody put this paperwork out there. Because if Big K didn't do it. He was battling DNA next. DNA was going to do it. Or whoever the opponent was. And this is like this is like free money here. If you're battling somebody and you get handed some information like this to use against them, this is a free battle right here because you're going to clearly win. Now, I know there's some people that's like, oh, well, with the material, I just think the material gets like kind of looked at left. Like, it's jaded. How can I even really evaluate this battle besides giving it to Big K? Because everything that Adi Boom is saying, the people who are... He took the paperwork and passed it around to the whole crowd. Like, take one and pass it down. And the crowd is actually standing there reacting to all these gangster gangster bars about the guns, about this and about that. But they're holding a copy of his paperwork in their hand at the same time. You see how crazy of a contrast that is? They're holding paperwork that says you told on your co- Well, test I made a statement. You see, some, some people get it twisted. They think that... Just because you didn't go up on the witness stand and testify, you didn't, you did not uh, give information that led to the conviction of somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I and this, this is one of these things that gets drawn out so crazy. So you got civilians, right? Civilians are people who go to work every day, come home, go to work, go home, mow their lawn, take care of their families, don't commit any crimes, and ain't in that life. Those are civilians. Now. If a civilian gets robbed, gets assaulted, gets their house broken into, gets shot at, you expect them to go to court to testify because they're a civilian. They're not in that life. But if I'm a willing participant, let's say me and Showtime SP, we're willing participants in something, right? And he gets caught or I get caught. If I give a statement that says he was with me and he did X, Y, and Z, you're tested, you're a snitch. You, that's what you are because you're telling on the person that was with you so you can get a lesser charge. And then Big K I honestly brought up the fact that his co-defendants had got 17 and some other crazy amount of years and he only got five. So I will say this, another thing I want to do. So in the battle, from the battle aspect, I got a uh, Big K went in the battle, it is what it is, but I will salute and applaud ARP because a lot of people were questioning whether ARP was even going to release this battle. And if he was going to release it, was he going to release it edited? I don't think he could have. I think he had to release the battle the way it happened. Uh, regardless of the backlash. And that, like I said, that's his man. Big, I didn't want his, that's one of the main dudes on RBE. That's like one of your top dogs. If the, if the, if, uh, if, if the Phoenix Suns were ARP, 
If the Phoenix Suns were RBE, that's like your Devin Booker. That's like one of your franchise players on RBE. And he had to release this battle because nobody was going to let they, that, they, he could not have just said, yo, we're not, we're not releasing this battle. There was no way he was going to do that. So for ARP to know that he has to stand on what he booked, you know what I'm saying? You can see the faces of the people that were with him. Like, it's not hard to see how bad they were looking when all of this stuff was going on. Big K even tried to hand ARP a copy of the paperwork. He was like, no, I got to just stand here and be cool. Like, he just, he did not want to participate in what was going on. So, a lot of people say, is Adi Boom's career over? Is he going to be able to battle again, et cetera, et cetera. Now, here's the thing. Uh, when it comes to Adi Boom, like he hasn't he hasn't been around in a while, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like he he it's not like he's had a lot of battles recently, you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't had no the only battle that he had was this battle, and I'm actually looking for something that I wanted to read. So um just bear with me. Bear with me, unless you share with me, bear with me. Um it's like he hasn't been back around long. So it's like his comeback was easy come easy go real quick you know what I'm saying like it, it just happens so fast you know what I mean and I feel like that it's hard because we live in a community we live in an era where you know everybody wants to know about the real the real the streets being tough and all this other shit and when you have something hanging over you like this it's kind of like like I don't know how you're gonna get around that like how can you get a, how are you gonna get around being able to have these angles, you know what I'm saying, all the time. Like, so, somebody, like, last, yesterday, Adi Boone tweeted, dancing on that curfew. Then all of the tweets, people were replying, you're not dancing on that paperwork, though. And then somebody else said, um, they're going to drag you until you clear this up. And then Adi Boone says, um, laugh my ass off. Niggas going to speak into shit they don't know all day. I ain't sweating it, I know the real, LOL, saying, you know, he knows what's real or whatever the case may be. But the problem is, when it comes to something like that, like, when you know the real, is like, okay, uh, let's, let's take another battle, right? Ill Will versus 40 Cal, right? 40 Cal brings out the whole baby mama, et cetera, right? Ill Will can say, I know the real. Like, people are going to say, I know. He can say that's not his baby, and guess what? We're not going to, as long as he know the real, we, we like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, he said, I ain't his baby. Fuck it, then. Niggas have babies every day, B. I mean, I take care of mine, but I mean, if that's not his baby, he said ain't his, then guess what? We're not going to sweat that. But when it comes to something like testifying and shit like that, you can't just, I know the real, and think this, this, bro, it's not going to work like that, man. I know you've been gone for a little minute. But I know the real, it's just not gonna work. It's not work like that, bro. I, I'm sorry. That, that's, it ain't going down like that. And I think, honestly, will he be able to get booked again? People would watch the battles just to see the angles that are taken against him and to see, like, people go to, um, people go to, people watch parkour just to see people fall off the building. People watch drag racing to see cars crash. Like, people like train wrecks. People watch those animal shows just to see, People get bit by lions and shit. So people like things like that, but a legitimate battle rap career, unless he really stands on it and clears that up, it ain't gonna happen. And I don't know how because that paperwork is online. You can see it, it is verifiable. So how are you gonna have something that's gonna take out what's already out there? And, it ain't, and since it ain't happened yet, I'm kind of leaning towards the fact that it ain't gonna happen. And even in the comments, like all in the comments of the video, I just went and looked at like some of the top comments of this video, and um, someone someone said they was rooting for Adi's gangster bars with the paperwork in their hands, bro. Then someone else said Adi's still trying to be cocky, knowing his heart is cracking inside. Laugh my ass off. Another person said I don't understand how Mother Effa support these snitches. He shouldn't even be able to walk the streets. Then someone else said Adi spent five years in jail waiting to battle. To have his career ended in six minutes. Another person said there's a difference between metaphors and real rap. Landslide. Another person said imagine getting exposed as a rat and still spitting that third round and yelling out the paperwork is fake as if no one knows how to use Google. Like all of the comments of the video or something like this, you know what I'm saying? So while I don't know, you know what I'm saying, like what he going to do, it, 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 it's, it's dark. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, you might still get booked a time or two. 
I know ARP is your man, and I salute ARP. Like I said, I got I got a good relationship with ARP. We speak about a lot of things. I never really spoke to him about this. You know what I'm saying? I just let the cards fall where they may. But it, I respect what he does as a league owner. I respect what he does as a man. And to have to still put this battle out, I'm 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 sure it, 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 it it's not a good look for him. You know what I'm saying? Have to still put this battle. Get your bread up, quarantine. But I still got my red cup. So sometimes you gotta think straight with a drink break. But uh, you know, let's do it how we did it. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this one in about 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna hold y'all next too long. But uh Adi Boom versus Big K. I got Big K winning. I don't care if you wanna call it 2-1 or 3-0. Uh clearly got the first and probably got the third too. I mean Adi Boom has some material, but that angle is just it is one of them things where it's just hard to get around. And he used snitch bars the all three rounds. Snitch boy, snitch boy, and I right, you gotta clear that shit up, man. I I, I don't know what to say, bro. I, I'm gonna let you have it, but uh, I, I'm, it's not. It's nasty out here. One. I got pills, I got lean, nigga. How you smoke weed, nigga? Well, we got it by the piece, nigga. This shit a breeze, nigga. I can do this shit with ease, nigga. Like, fuck you, mean, nigga. We got scouts, we got beans, nigga. Oh, that's your team, nigga. Well, I'm a team inside a team, nigga. Got a bunch of team niggas that do anything for the team, nigga. This life a dream, nigga. But I splatter a nigga dreams, nigga. This not a dream, nigga. Get down before I spill your beans, nigga. Yo, bitch a fiend, nigga. Deep in her tummy, watch her cream, nigga. She hit them knees, nigga. Dick in her mouth, I'm about to ski in it. That's what she eat, nigga. Dick and ball, she a freak, nigga. She real petite, nigga. But that's your Bitch, you can keep, nigga.